Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to go over another deleted concept from the original Jurassic Park. During pre-production on the first movie, there were many scenes from Michael Crichton's original novel that were in development for the film adaptation as well. One such scene happened to be our introduction to the baby Triceratops that Lex meets on the tour in the Jurassic Park book. Now, in the original story, this scene basically carried over the child's behavior of affectionately naming the dinosaurs, which was first introduced in the earlier baby raptor scene in the book. In the film, it was planned that Lex would give the baby trike the name Ralph, and the two would have a brief encounter in the movie where the girl rides on the back of the baby dinosaur. During construction of the various practical and animatronic effects that were being designed for the first movie, Stan Winston would begin work on the baby Triceratops that was planned to be shown on screen. An interesting idea that was being considered for this particular animatronic, though, is that this scrapped appearance actually had initially been designed with the idea of running in mind. The original plan was to repurpose an old chain-driven mechanical boar that could gallop. But later on down the line, the producers decided that all running dinosaurs would be portrayed with CGI instead of practical effects. So the focus then shifted into designing a baby Triceratops that was fully articulated, yet wouldn't have the ability to walk or run. This idea would later culminate in the creation of a five-foot animal that was planted onto the ground. Rods would extend out from the baby's feet so that puppeteers that were underneath the stage could shift its weight from foot to foot and bring it to life. The baby Triceratops was made with full motion in its legs, tail, head, neck, and tongue. It could even contort facial movements for its eyes and lips as well. Unfortunately, after working for over a year on the animatronic, the scene would get cut from the script only two weeks from the trike's completion. The reason the scene was ultimately cut had to do with last-minute script decisions made late in the writing. After David Kep had rewritten the script that Malia Scotch Marmo had drafted, Steven Spielberg asked Malia to go over this new version of the film and give David a set of notes that could be used to refine the movie that they would ultimately end up making. And the Triceratops ride happened to be one of those things that got cut during this finalization process. Spielberg wanted to really hone in on the focus of the film's narrative and tighten the runtime to around two hours in length. They were always looking for cuts, and the decision on where to put this cute encounter seemed rather difficult to figure out. If they put the baby Triceratops scene before the T-Rex attack, it would slow down the movie. But if they put it after the attack, they feared the audience would question why this kid would ride a dinosaur after she'd just been attacked by one. In the end, the same sort of tone that they were going for would be incorporated into the scene where the kids feed the Brachiosaurus from a tree, which made the baby Triceratops scene rather redundant. Despite the fact that the practical effects were nearly completed, they decided to axe it completely. However, the baby Triceratops would actually get a second shot at life just a few short years later. During production on the Lost World Jurassic Park, Stan Winston's team would have to design a number of both large and small dinosaurs to be seen in cages during Nick Van Owen and Sarah Harding's stroll through the hunter camp. The scene called for a caged mechanical baby Triceratops, and since they already had one nearly completed, they decided to just finish it up and put it in the sequel. You can see the baby briefly on screen during Van Owen's sabotage of the engine cages, and while it only made one tiny appearance, we would later get to see even more baby trikes in the following sequels to come. So even though the scene was axed way before the camera started rolling in the first film, the animatronic would make a comeback in a very short time frame. Now with all of that being said, I'm curious to hear what do all of you guys think about this older deleted concept? Do you think it would have been a good idea if they kept the scene in the movie with Lex riding the Triceratops? Or do you think that what they eventually went with was good enough? Whatever your thoughts and opinions may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I want to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. It really means the world to me that you guys appreciate what I do so much, and I seriously am extremely thankful for everything that you guys do to help. Honestly, it means the world. Now I'd like to thank you all for watching this video, and hope that you all enjoy today's content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.